Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab. And after a couple of weeks, if not months, this is finally going to be a video that is recorded and uploaded uh, within two weeks. Or actually within one week if I'm lucky. Before we begin, uh, I'd like to apologize for all the fireworks noise. Because yeah, it's the 31th of December. So... Exactly. Point made. Alright, so we've got a couple of post bags to, uh, to open uh, and I'm uploading a lot of post bags right now. Yes, I know that. That's because a lot of things are needed for the projects I'm working on. Um, so lots has to come from China. We first start with the boost module. It's a value of one dollar and fifty cents, um, and I think I know what's in there. And I also flag this item if I'm correct. The uh, if I assume that this is the item that uh, yeah, it is. I flagged it as uh, did not arrive, and I think that this is the. No, it isn't. It is the first, uh, the first, first batch that did not arrive. Yeah, it's just uh, a couple of uh, uh, boost modules. I think these can do both. Uh, it's the um, MT three six zero eight. Yeah, it's a boost converter. So step up converter. So it's only boost. This MT3608 is only boost, so no step down, only step up, which is nice to have if you need a higher voltage. All right, connectors. Very curious, just says connectors. Ooh. This is nice. Feels really solid. Uh, it's uh, the same as I already have. Let me grab it. So it's the same thing as I already have, but this one um, goes the other direction. That's the only thing. This one goes the other direction, and it feels a hell of a more solid. This is. This is real, uh, real good quality. Yeah, like it. Okay, so, comp. Yeah, comp. Comp. Yeah, I'm not going outside to tell them to stop the fireworks. Oh, these are 3.3-volt uh, regulators. I'm doing a repair project in which this regulator is used. And I measured, measured the uh, output voltage of this thing inside the project. So you see right here, Ooh. it's a Kettler uh, cross trainer thing. And there you have it. Uh, and I measured the output voltage and the output voltage was below the uh, specs in the data sheet. So I thought, hey, it's broken. Let's order a new one. Until I discovered that my oscilloscope wasn't calibrated properly, which I was quite shocked uh, from actually, because yeah, how come? But after a calibration, the actual value was uh, around 3.6 volts, so yeah. All right, integrated circuits. It feels heavy and has a value of around one dollar. So, yeah. Well, 
these aren't integrated circuits. These are connectors. Oh, one's broken. Oh wow. Well. So I actually ordered this for the transistor tester. Because if I unwrap it, I 3D printed a nice case around it. And as you can see, it has a compartment for a 9 volt battery over here, which just goes like that. And uh, let me check where they are. Right here, there's a 9 volt header, uh, which you can connect these things to. So I thought it was quite handy uh, to have it uh, in one package. But now I'm dragging along a 9 volt adapter, and it's kind of bulky. So, yeah, 9 volt things, really nice. Oh, this is quite heavy too. It's quite light according to the package. Uh, has a value of $1.60 or 95. And these are MOSFETs. Yeah, it's just your regular RF5210 MOSFET um, that I ordered for the uh, windmill project before I came to the realization that they weren't needed anymore. Um, so yeah, now this is quite a clear description. I wasn't uh, doubting at all um, what should be inside this. And, oh, that's nice. These one come in a bag. Now, I already received um, a post bag with diodes for the windmill. The only problem was that I think I'm going to Use um, which one? Oh, there's uh, a lot more. I think I've been lifted because I bought the same thing, and this was the first batch. Uh, these are the I1 and 5822, and that's this one. And this is in a quantity of 10 and this is quantity 5. And I ordered these because I need 6 of those. And they only came in 5. So, yeah. But now I've got 10. And, yeah, well. If it's for the same price, you won't hear me. And the final item in this post bag. Uh, I'm amazed by the speed of this delivery actually, because I ordered it last week and it's already here. And I know what's inside this and this is for an upcoming project that I'm not going to tell anything about right now. But it's, it's, if everything goes well, it might be a Kickstarter. Damn! I don't know which Chinese hot snot this one. It looks terrible. Let me uh, let me clean it up with some alcohol. It's just uh, a glass cleaner, but it also works because it's 99% isopropyl alcohol. So the top side looks, looks a lot better. Uh, this is a Ethernet interface. This is a LAN 8720 uh, module compatible with Arduino. And uh, there are a lot of libraries available for this board. That's why I ordered this board because it's really um, yeah, neat to use and has a lot of, uh, a lot of support. Yeah, I can't stand the, the white gunk on the 
on the circuit board, but hey, the top looks uh, much better. Uh, yeah, this is going to be for a project that I won't tell uh, anything about right now. Um, and uh, it will last, I think, a couple of months. Uh, but I'm first going to finish the windmill project uh, first before actually continuing with this one because I think that I've got all the right things um, for the windmill project to be finished um, in a matter of fact I uh, tried uh, to drill a hole in an axis as you can see right here no, not on this one. We need to focus on this one. Focus. Thank, thank you. Yeah, right here. I tried to drill a hole and... Yeah. You know? I went through a two or three drill bits. HSS drill bits and... There is no hole. So this is the hardened steel uh, axis from Aliexpress and I didn't know that Aliexpress made such good quality uh, steel. So I 3D printed my own and I'm glad to see that the, the, the whole location actually lines up. Let me zoom in again. Look, both to the end. And it's quite the same actually, so that's good. That means that I was drilling in the right place. Uh, now I'm uh, going to send this down um, and try it in the uh, try to fit it in the windmill because it's uh, yeah you know some of the remains of the uh, 3D print process are uh, still visible and it doesn't fit because. This one's too big. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, quick short uh, update. Um, I'll make a proper windmill update very soon. Because I've got a lot to, uh, to discuss and to tell about the windmill. But I haven't got any time to do it right now. But I thought, hey, let's leave you with uh, a last video uh, that was made in 2019. Um, so I'm wishing you all the best for 2020 uh, and I'm hoping that you're uh, still enjoying my videos. Um, if you got any feedback on the contents the, uh, and the quality of the, the videos, uh, please feel free to let me know because I'm looking for ways yeah, to, to further improve my channel. Right now I'm enjoying making videos for this channel. Uh, but I feel like I can uh, improve well, quite a lot here and there. Um, and I know consistency is uh, one thing. Uh, as I have not been consistent at all the last uh, months. Uh, but I'm in my final year of my study. Uh, and everything is over the top uh, busy. So yeah, as you can imagine, I put a lot of focus on that and not so much on my channel right now because I'm in the final year. Um, so apart from consistency on uploading, please let me know if you've got any things that you'd like me to do, to show, to make or uh, to change the content to. Uh, let me know down below um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.